I love you, Alec Jones. <laughs> Thank you for your love for that shit. I don't mean to embarrass you. Instead, I would like to talk about someone who always embarrassed me. I remember at the age of six, back to school after Christmas at recess time. I excitedly talked to the classmate next to me. Hey, I hung a sock on my best side on Christmas Eve and got a present from Santa Claus. How come he know what I want? It's a woodland color pencil. The boy said aloud, You idiot! You still believe in someone called Santa Claus? Everyone laughed, just like you guys. I was so embarrassed. Who pretend to be Santa Claus? I knew the answer until I peeped at my dad sneaking into my bedroom on the next Christmas Eve. Contest chair, fellow Toastmaster, and friends, could you imagine embarrassing incident often happen at school? On another day, I got diarrhea and my pants are wet with sticky. No one knows that. I sat down quietly. While I was waiting for my dad fetching me home, my dad was so anxious and rushed to the classroom of 40 students and said aloud, Ali, get your pants here. Oh my God. Everyone laughed at me. I was so embarrassed. I put a long face and rushed out of the classroom. There were too many embarrassing incidents in between but let me fast forward to the time when my dad retired. It was a real challenge for me. Irritating, disgusting, nagging. I can use all adjectives to describe how I felt about my dad. Do you experience the same when your parents retire? As my dad stayed at home 24 hours a day, he keeps supervising me and saying, Sleep earlier. Drink soup when it's hot. Don't play with computers for too long. I always reply, okay, okay, later, later. I turn a deaf ear to my dad. But deep inside my heart, shut up, please. <laughs> as, I, uh, as I don't want to stay at home. So my dad was so disappointed. I can see that from his eyes. Later, after graduation, I decided to repay my dad's concern and love, no matter how he embarrassed and irritated me. I brought him to a cozy place, a nice sea wheel through the windows and sea breeze blowing in, in a room painted with white, in a classic opening picture on the wall. This was a hospital room. Yes, right after my graduation, my dad was diagnosed with terminal cancer. I couldn't help anything. I just don't know what to do. Then I know that I need to empty my pocket to bring him to the best hospital in Hong Kong. I forgot all he embarrassed and irritated me. My dad lied on bed and said, Son, don't spend money on me. It's useless. Leave them to your mom when she is alive. I saw my dad's health deteriorate day by day after a series of chemotherapy, from black hair to gray hair to no hair. I was so disappointed when I saw him couldn't sign his name properly and couldn't show any facial expression when I showed him my first pay rise letter. On the very final stage, the doctor sent him to a private room. I spent nearly the last 30 minutes between I and dad in the room. Silence throughout the period, except the regular beep the sound of the pulse infection machine. A thought suddenly flashed across my mind. 
I didn't want to regret. I never do that. But finally, I summon up my courage and whisper next to my bear's ears, Dad, I love you. Dad, I love you. Dad, I really love you. No matter what happens, my life has to go on. The good news is, my mom is still alive. I'm more positive to my mom's words. My mom also repeated the free sentence my, you, my, mom, my dad usually said. Sleep earlier. Jane Suk when it's hot, don't play with computer for too long. Well, I'm more positive to my mom, and my attitude changed. I would like to hear that every day, rather than I couldn't hear the words anymore. The relationship with my mom and family is getting more intimate, and I'm glad it is a blessing in disguise. Indeed, I need courage to take on my heartbreaking memories many years ago. But more I look forward to is your courage to treat your long-winded parents well before they have health warning signals for you. You never know what happens the next day. So please, 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 don't regret. And show your gratitude to your parents every day by saying, I love you.